Hi, and welcome to this video series on Learning Go. As the title suggests, the content of this series is geared towards data engineers. However, if you are not a data engineer, this course should also help you get started fairly quickly. In this video, I assume that you are already familiar with most programming concepts and that you use a language like Python, Java, or Scala in your daily work. The obvious first question is, why would I want to learn Go as a data engineer? How would that help me? So why am I making a video convincing people to learn Go? Obviously, the answer to these questions are my personal opinion. So first, Go is a very nice and concise language. In my personal opinion, it hits the perfect sweet spot of being concise and precise at the same time. The beauty of the language alone makes it worthwhile learning it, if you ask me. The second reason is the cloud. Go is a pretty modern language, and it's a cloud-native language, actually. When you're working with the Google Cloud, learning Go should help you tremendously, since Go is a first-class citizen on that cloud. The third major reason for me is concurrency. I love the way Go handles concurrency. Go makes it very easy to build even large concurrent programs. And last but not least, speed. Especially if you compare Go to pure Python, and I'm ignoring Cython implementations here like NumPy, etc. You will notice that Go is pretty fast. And contrary to Python, Go is a compiled language, which helps in terms of speed, but also makes Go a more reliable language. Obviously, being a compiled language also has the disadvantages. And one major difference to Python is that you don't have a REPL, and you cannot just try out things on the fly. This course is basically split into two blocks. In the first block, I will show the very basic concepts. Nothing in there is special to data engineering. In fact, the examples that I'm going to use are so easy, you might find them ridiculously easy. I made them simplistic on purpose, so you can focus on the main idea. In the second part of the tutorial, we will look into more real-world applications and examples building upon the basic building blocks that I've taught you before. Again, I will try to keep the examples as simplistic as possible to focus on the main ideas. However, the content should be relevant to your day-to-day -day work. Obviously, you don't have to be a data engineer for this tutorial to be useful. It is just that the examples of the second part are geared more towards the handling of bulk data on the cloud, which is typically a domain of data engineers. If this sounds promising to you, then stick around and have a look at Go with me.